Hello everybody. Today we are going to go over a really, really easy style of bow. It's basically a super stack layer bow. Um, most of them you see are, are about this size, but the ultra stacks are pretty big too. And they run several layers, so you see a lot of puffery in them. Um, we're going to go over how to do this. It's very simple. The hardest part about this is sitting there and cutting all these things and also coming up with all the different colors because sometimes it seems like you're just buying ribbon and you don't really know like where it's going to go or you don't want to buy 10 yards to do one bow. Um, these bows are nice because you can incorporate 50 colors. If you want to just do like a rainbow one, you can do all solid colors, do like yellow, orange, purple, pink, and just do a little bit of each. Um, and the difference in these is literally like a half inch. So the, my first one, my first like actual strip that I use is always a lot, a little bit shorter than the next one. So here I have one strip and then I have another strip. This is how I like plan mine out. And then I have another strip and I just want to incorporate as many extra colors that I have as possible so that I can kind of use them, but also at the same time, make this bow look like 10 times larger than it is because everybody knows bigger is better. <laughs> anyway, um, our first layer should be, I like to say about, for the, for the big layers right here, about six inches, if not seven or eight. So this one's pretty large, and what you do is you just add glue right here, and it's super simple, and I think everybody just tends to think that it's really, like, stressful. I do these with our no sew. Now you can go ahead and sew them if that's you know how you feel that you want yours and that's awesome. Like I commend you. I just don't sew at all because I just I'd be there all day sewing. <laughs> but the cool this is a, a no sew glue gun only. And forgive my beat up glue gun, but it's been through it's been through a lot with me, so I can't give up on it. <laughs> then in the middle, I just put a little more glue and I have this floppy part. And it seems really floppy and like it's not gonna do much. But that's okay, don't worry about it. Then I'm going to take my next layer and I'm going to chop off anywhere from half an inch to a third of an inch. Because I want it to be a little bit smaller than the last layer I just did. Okay, so we're going to do this one. And then we're going to flip this over and add some more glue right there and stick it on there. Now you're going to want to do this to all the layers you've cut out. Because ultimately, what we're going to be doing with this layer is this. We're gonna take a bottom layer and we're gonna just, I just crisscross them. That's it, just crisscross it. So you're gonna take, let's say two of your blues and you're just gonna do one blue and you're gonna do two blues. So it's gonna look like this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue just a little strip. You don't want it to get super thick in the middle and that's why I notice a lot of people get get kind of crazy is where they have all this extra glue in the middle. As you notice, my, mine end up being about, about this thick, which isn't really that big. They can get really puffy. And you can actually even make them more puffy without adding that extra in the middle. But you just crisscross and you repeatedly just keep moving it over and over. So you crisscross this way and then you're going to want to crisscross this way. And I like to add the smaller ones in there to kind of just give it a little flavor. Um, because the smaller ones are going to add this little, it's going to give you that extra layer without adding a lot of bulk. So this is a 7 8 a 3 8 another 7 8 and a 1.5 that I've added. I've added two layers of the 1.5, two layers of the 3 8 two layers of my 7 8 and then I've added just on the very top, as you can see they've all been crisscrossed right here, I've added in the very top just um, the printed ribbon of my choice. Uh, on this one, I added the printed remove because this is like an ultra stack bow. It's very large, and I've added one, two, three layers of printed ribbon. All together, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers total, okay? And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well. And as you can see, the difference in size is more width than it is actually like the top of them, okay? So you're gonna do that until you go all the way around. You're gonna add just a little bit of glue. When I mean a little bit of glue, I mean like a strip, a strip. That's all you want, that's all you're gonna need. Now, my biggest question on these, the question that I get asked the most about making the super stack bows is how do I put my clip on? Well, that's a good question because you can't really just add a little <laughs> tiny clip to that. 
Um, there's two options. The first option is you want to go with a huge, like, 85 millimeter barrette. I don't like French barrettes personally. That's my, my personal, like, dislike is, is this French barrettes. Now, the other thing is you can get this large 2 inch, which will cover all your mess in the back. And what I do is I fold that in half, and I just do a little snip, enough to where I can put my alligator clip okay so I add my alligator clip now I've given this you know the backing that I need then I'm gonna add glue all around this alligator clip just like just basically this part portion of it because we don't really need they don't need to see anything right here and then you just want to do make sure you do enough on top and and here and you want to do like a little bit right there because you want to make sure that your clip is going to stick and then you want to just make sure you add it in places where it's going to need to, to stay, obviously, all the way around. So see, I've kind of just made circles inside. Then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to just add that right on there. Okay? And you want to press it. Make sure you get it good. Check your edges. If one of your edges doesn't adhere very much, just add a spot of glue on there. Because what you want is it to be like this. See how you can't really flip up any of those edges? So what I would do is I would just go in there with my glue gun after... And just kind of add a little bit of glue and get it right in there. And just make sure you press it down. That way you've got a bow and they can still up and down, up and down how they need to to clip it on and off. But it's giving it a covering and a backing to where it's not a mess. You can, I like to pull it over and completely just cover that whole front end. And then you don't have to worry about it. All they're seeing is this right here. And then you just go ahead and you go through like this. And you just add it on there. Now you can use your glue of choice. I prefer hot glue. I just, I don't know, I'm old school like that, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, then when you're done with that, you can add a center. You can add a bottle cap. You can add one of the 25 millimeter gems. And it's all done. Like, that's it. You're done. So it's really just about stacking crisscross, crisscross, and turning it just a little each time. And so you've got this, like, spiral going on. Um, again, the best part of mounting is these, I, I feel like it's this right here. Um, it covers all of your excess. It gives it a great base and that's what you want. That's what's going to keep it from falling off or, or feeling like it's like pulling around this poor little, little clip is if you've got a really good base. Um, that's the secret to fascinators is an amazing base. Um, I love, I love doing it. I feel like like uh, being able to make something that large and then having it mount and stay on um you know a child's head is the best thing because sometimes you see these poor girls and these like things are just like falling and that's what you don't want you want to stay away from that and I think a great base is the key to that again that's my personal opinion and I and hopefully it'll come in handy when you're creating your spiral bows definitely uh, join us at mommyscraftyside.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash mommy's crafty side. All the links are below and you can always put your picture up there and just say like, hey, I watched your YouTube video and I made something and this is what I made. So we can enjoy your creation. Have a good one.